This is a short video introducing you to the college's LED lights. This is the FNV K1000 daylight only light and we're going to talk through how to use it, put it together and safety measures to make sure you do it correctly. So let's put this one aside and then we'll go through what's in the actual box. This shows you how you should put it away as well at all times. So the FNV camera systems come as a three lighting setup where you have all the lights neatly going into their own inserts and then you have in these three pockets you have a lead which is a kettle lead which connects the mains adapter which goes on the back of the light to the plug within the wall. Now we'll go through each of these and uh, we'll talk more in, about them. So this is the back of the light. We need to provide power to the light. We do that with either a battery or in this case, a mains lead adapter. They're very easy to, to use. They have a V here, which slots into the V just, just there. You literally put that down just like that and then slightly, and then it clicks into place. That is now solid and ready. Then you would get your cable, which you would plug into the wall and then you literally plug it into the back just like that and then it's secure. In order to remove it, you have a button just there. There so you push that in and then slide it across and off it comes. So I'll put it back on again, clips into place. Now it's plugged in, you can see there is a green light here confirming that it's plugged into the mains. In order to turn it on, you push the button up once and the light comes on and you can increase the power by turning the dial on here, up or down. Very nice and simple. When you've finished, push the button in to the zero and then you can dismantle it and put it back into the bag correctly. Before you do put your light onto a lighting stand, you must make sure that you put it in the correct place first and that it is very stable. So here's one I'll show you now. This is one of our normal ones. You open out the legs, push them down to as wide as they will go, making sure all legs are secure. I'm doing this on a table just as an example. I lock off, making sure it's secure, and then I can place the light on the top of the stand. At the bottom of each stand, you have a hole just there and a screw. You make sure that is unscrewed a little bit, doesn't have to be much then it's placed on the top of the stand, then you screw it in till it's secure, and then it's ready. When you've finished, make sure you hold the light, unscrew it again, and then remove the light from the light stand, and then you can dismantle it all again. Here we have a more compact version of one of our lighting stands. Very light, very useful, but though uh, not quite as steady as some of our other lighting stands, just to be aware of. You can see that the legs all fold up strangely just up there um, and that helps to reduce the size of them. So they are smaller than the other lighting stands that we have. To open them out, you unscrew this one here, pull out the legs, then it all goes into position and then you lock them off. I will point out I'm doing this on a table just to show you. I would never do this on here because as you can see, it is extremely unstable so you would never do it but just for the video i'm showing you an example and when you've uh, got it secure you can then raise the lighting stand to the designated height that you want when you've finished with the equipment you should pack away the items exactly as shown here and neatly fold away the lead just like this using this cord and then they can be positioned back into their slots nice and neat, ready for the next person.